Hello YouTube. I hope everybody is doing fine and I also hope that you do not get bored seeing this keypad over and over again. But I did forget to mention something important, how to upload code to it because I had people asking me. So as to the keypads, this is my personal keypad with the carbon fiber front panel and uh, which is only on special order and this is uh, the regular version with the white pcb top and this one is actually sold and will ship to japan tomorrow and uh, of course you know that you can change the volume mute and whatnot and you have also media keys over here but then everybody will need this uh, differently i'm using it for the arrow keys since my six key 60 key uh, keyboard doesn't have uh, arrow keys or it doesn't but you need to push like two buttons at the same time and I also use it as a shortcut for Eagle that I use to design my PCBs so I have showed you the keypad before and uh, yeah, you can see again the hardware monitor running I will show that as well companion app on the PC so let me swing up to my monitor here and zoom in so to upload code you will need the Arduino IDE I'm using 1.9.0 better and, but it doesn't matter anything over 8 will work or even lower and uh, these are the libraries that I'm using can't find my finger over here so we have SPI, wire, bitmaps that's actually this tab here which has all the bitmaps for the keys and the arrows and the paws and I will supply all those uh, uh, with the a purchase with the code with the keypad and then you have the timer one you have I don't know where to look on my phone or my t t uh, monitor timer one HID project add a fruit GFX GFX uh, click encoder library other fruit NeoPixel library and the Arduino ST7789 underscore fast library because this one is from uh, Powell uh, from Poland thank you Powell for making all those great libraries he has a YouTube channel and uh, he comes up always with nice new fonts and what, whatever so this one is twice as fast as the regular Arduino ST7789 library so this is what I'm using so as I said I will supply the code and here then you can change the keys, the mid maps, add macros or whatever you like. And uh, once you search on Google, you will find many, many uh, helpful uh, DUI um, projects that you can, uh, if you, something does don't know which key to use or whatever, you can find that. There's also a GitHub. Uh, where it shows you all the shortcuts that or the names for the keys that you use on the keypad so and to upload code you just select show you the bottom here the Ardu Arduino Leonardo and you select the right COM port this is the COM port for the white one and then you click uh, once you edit the code you click upload over here top and then it does compile the code and then it will upload it here and you will see it when it goes black and then we'll start over again and the code will be uploaded so <clears throat> you don't have to unplug anything you don't need no special code or special software just a regular Arduino IDE and this is the startup sequence startup screen which shows you that the touch sensor is on this side and then it shows the first level and um, 
once you touch here on the side you switch to the second level which can have anything different that you will need or might use also if you don't have a USB Type-C cable obviously this is USB Type-C so you can plug it in this way or the other way you're always right and you can just get an adapter like this and then plug it into your micro USB cable and then plug in your keyboard keypad and then it will work so that's that and now i want to show you the companion app oops sorry that runs on your pc if you want the um, the pc performance starts shown so this is it let me hold on, zoom in let me turn this off so this is it and if you go in the about page you can see this is the GNAT PC performance monitor which is based on the hardware serial uh, DLL and that sends all the PC performance uh, data to your keypad and uh, this is it what runs on it and once you click on it on the in the taskbar you can select which um, USB serial device does have the code in my case both have them uh, then you select yours and then you can click on this automatic and it will even if you restart your PC it will start up uh, run and then connect to your USB device so you don't have to deal with it again um yeah most people do shut down their pcs overnight i have mine running 24 7 till the next power outage and then i have to restart it <laughs> so i just turn off my monitors and then as you can see and that's for me the fastest startup instead of uh <clears throat> starting up the pc and opening the browser and waiting for the 40 tabs to load so this is it um, actually i was waiting for usb type c connectors for the keypads to finish and uh, i ordered some of these over three months ago they still did not arrive i ordered them again a month ago from several different uh, sellers they also did not arrive yet and I even had my friend Alex from Australia send me some uh, connectors so I can finish the keypads and put them up on Tindy again um, so I'm waiting on those as well I don't know how long that's gonna take but I was lucky to find these breakout boards USB type-c breakout boards locally here in Bulgaria uh, they cost an arm and a leg but uh, at least I can finish my products and don't have to wait for the Chinaman to deliver their package or order. So that was that. And the reason actually why I rushed to do this, not just to finish it, but also I had 14 people having the keypad on their wait list on my Tindy store. And out of the 14, I sold a whopping one this one to Japan so I don't know why people put it on their wait list and uh, if they are not getting notified that it's back in stock or what's going on the problem is uh, I don't see who puts it on their wait list so I, I cannot get in touch with those people and um, also a small thing to most people might not know uh, if I sell anything on Tindy I won't get paid till I actually ship the product out so that's their way of making sure that the seller does send the product out and he gets paid only after that so but that of course uh, nobody would will care about that but uh, I'm just wondering why so many people put it on their wait list and then don't end up, don't end up buying it I mean I would understand that uh, a quarter or even half of it maybe changed their mind and then found something out something different to buy or whatever but uh, 
one out of 14 that's pretty low because the problem is once i see that many people waiting for it i start buying parts and i put them together or not and if it's on special order whatever but i get ready to sell that many and then i don't and then i have then the parts sitting around or the pcbs and uh, collecting dust so i don't know what why that is happening maybe it's because of the virus but uh, it was like that before as well and i'm afraid it will be the same even after this video or later whatever but um, just wanted to mention it so um, if you do not want to get or put it on your wait list on tindy you can also send me an email and ask me to inform you once it's uh, available so i can finish it and send it to you so anyway this is it um i will also i make another video for that i was also waiting for the usb type c connectors to finish up my tiny 1284p development board which will go on crowd supply there is a pre-launch page running right now and uh Hopefully soon I will have the launch and I would appreciate if you support me or even share just the link even if you don't have a use for this. Um, this is the Atmega 1284 chip which is four times uh, larger in uh, size and flash size and whatnot. I will explain all that once I finish this tomorrow I may, will make a video and I will tell you the differences. But anything that runs on the 328 does run on the 1284 and you get so much more space for your code to fit. So this is something else I will show you tomorrow or the next day. So this is it. Thanks for watching and take care everybody.